How to mix the treatment for stony coral tissue loss disease. Since 2014, Florida and Caribbean coral reefs have been threatened by a new disease called stony coral tissue loss disease. Currently, the most effective treatment for this disease is the topical application of antibiotics, specifically amoxicillin, using a specially developed pharmaceutical paste called Base2B. The mixture is then applied along the margin of the disease lesion, preventing the progression of the disease. This video will show you how to prepare the mixture so that it can be successfully applied to diseased reef. In order to prepare the mixture, you will need a mixing bowl or plastic container, two spatulas, small metal spoons, gloves, a mask, one 400 gram jar of base to be, a scale, and 50 grams of amoxicillin powder. Instead of the spoons, you may also use metal butter knives or small metal chemistry spatulas. Before you begin to mix the compound, please put on gloves and a mask. This will keep you from inhaling the amoxicillin and the base to be. Make sure that no one preparing the mixture is allergic to amoxicillin or other beta-lactam antibiotics. Base to be is an ointment that has been designed by ocean alchemists to treat stony coral tissue loss disease when combined with amoxicillin. It is designed to adhere and expand into the coral tissues and skeleton at the disease margin in order to stop the progression of the disease. Base 2B has a shelf life of about two months, but can be used as long as it remains pliable. It should be stored in a refrigerator, and if the ointment begins to harden or change color, then it should no longer be used. The mixture is prepared in a one to eight ratio of amoxicillin to base 2B. So 50 grams of amoxicillin should be added to a 400 gram jar of base 2B. A scale can help you accurately measure the amount you'll need. If you're in the field and can't measure everything, then don't worry. Each jar of base to be comes in 400 gram batches, so you can just bring 50 grams of amoxicillin with you so they can be mixed at sea. The first thing that you should do is add the base to be to the mixing bowl. Slowly add the amoxicillin to the base to be, mixing as you go, in order to make sure that it gets fully incorporated into the base to be. If you have two spatulas, one can be used to mix the compounds together, while the other can be used to keep the bowl from moving around. Once the amoxicillin is added to the ointment, it should be mixed for at least five minutes so it gets fully incorporated. It's recommended that the mixture should be prepared no more than 24 hours before application, and that it's actually better if you prepare it on the same day you plan to apply it to the reef, as the amoxicillin will begin to degrade and lose its effectiveness. Some have found that when you mix the compound right before application, the texture of the mixture is much better and it's much easier to apply. However, if you're not able to dive because of bad weather or unforeseen circumstances, the compound can be kept in the fridge for up to a week. Cleaning the bowls and spatulas after use can be tricky. To help with cleanup, you can use a vegetable oil or a proprietary adhesive remover like Goo Gone to make it easier to remove the residue. For more information, please go to the Coral Disease page on GCFI's website at this link, the Coral Disease page on Agra's website at this link, or Ocean Alchemist's website at this link. We'd like to thank everyone who reviewed and supported the creation of this video, including NOAA's Coral Reef Conservation Program, the Turks and Caicos Reef Fund, Stanapa, the St Eustatius National Parks Foundation, Ocean Alchemists, Nova Southeastern University, and Roatan Marine Park. Please don't hesitate to get in touch with us if you need more help. 